Hey guys, Hardly Brief Dan here with another episode of the Unity Make an RPG series. Today we're going to be starting basically a sub series. Uh, and what I mean by that, it's just going to be a whole bunch of videos on the same exact topic. And the topic is going to be abilities. How do we create an ability? How do we use an ability? And how does that ability affect our game world and game characters? That's what we're going to be talking about over the next several videos. Uh, this is more of an introduction video, kind of just want to talk about what you'll be seeing, what I'm trying to aim for over the next several videos, and hopefully we'll talk about our end product, uh, you know, what we'll accomplish. So over the past week or so, I've been, I came up with an idea on uh, for an ability system. Uh, it's just, you know, I've never designed, I've never built it, I've never coded it, so it's all new to me. Uh, so it's gonna be really cool to record that, and you can kind of you'll be able to see me come up with ideas and solutions that are kind of hackish, and we can go back later and refactor them and, and kind of build this up into something more robust uh, eventually. But like I said, I've never done it before, so it's gonna be a good learning experience for my for myself, and then for you guys to, to follow along with. So here I'm just gonna kind of write out some things that we're gonna be doing. All right, so this is gonna be our ability system. Uh, and what I mean by that is we're going to create an ed eventually we're going to be creating an editor uh, that allows us to create basically uh, an unlimited amount of abilities with different characteristics. Ristics. Okay, so this is kind of the idea of what I came up with, right? We want to have abilities. I don't know what kind of game you you guys are designing so uh, we need to create a way that you can create whatever you want right so this is the general idea uh, and the way we're gonna accomplish that is first by creating an object called an ability uh, and then from that object we're gonna kinda narrow it down and create a spell and a melee attack uh, and then the biggie one is we're gonna create a, what I'm calling ability characteristics characteristics okay and ability characteristics are going to describe the behavior of the ability. Pretty simple, right? And you can call this ability behavior if you want. Behaviors, we could say. Uh, maybe that's easier. We could say ability behaviors. And basically, this is what the ability is going to do. So uh, there's gonna, there can be different stages, right? So we can have a beginning stage or the cast stage, the use stage, where this happens at the beginning, the middle, and the end. Right, we can describe that kind of behavior, but we could talk about more so what the ability does. Maybe it has an AOE effect. Uh, maybe it does a damage over time effect, a healing over time effect. Uh, it's a range, or is it short range? You know, is it instant? All these different things we can talk about um, and look at when we use the ability. And these are what, besides coding all this, this is pretty simple. Uh, this is where it's going to get a lot of fun. Maybe we have a chain effect, right? Uh, a a pushback effect all these different things we can have uh, we'll call that pushback all these different things we can have that uh, using the editor that we'll create you can add and take away depending on what you want the ability to do so the best way I thought of to do all this is to create one ability from start to finish using this entire method and the ability that we're gonna create is a fireball uh, pretty simple. It's in most RPG. It's in a lot of RPGs. I won't say most, but it's in a lot of RPGs. You know, spells, wizards, mages. They use fireballs. Uh, and the idea behind this fireball is it's going to incorporate some of these behaviors, and we can add and take away more as we go along. And may, you know, we can design what you guys want. So just leave me a comment, a like. You know, like and comment. Let me know. Hey, this is what I'd really like to see out of this, and hopefully we can incorporate that. You know, maybe if enough people like that comment, I can see it at the top, and we can say, you know, that's a great idea. We'll try to add it. Uh, but basically, the idea is here: we want to create a fireball. The fireball is going to be a ranged attack. It's going to be a spell. It's going to have an AOE effect, and it's going to have a dot effect. Now, this is basically it may be a pushback. Uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, as we go along, but we can code all this stuff and then add and take away. Uh, so this is the basic idea of the system. Again, it's going to be have a built. These are all going to be abilities, but they're going to have different behaviors or characteristics that we're going to have to check for in the lifetime of that ability. Um, so this is the structure. Again, this is just an introduction video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and start coding the real, the root of it, the ability class. Uh, and then we'll move on to coding the spell and melee class, and then we'll start coding the ability behavior class, where we'll start looking at individual characteristics or behaviors, and coding how they work in our game world. 
so if you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, if you have any suggestions, again, leave them down in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll hope to talk to you guys next time.